Hi, I'm James from Bespoke Airsoft, and this is the installation guide on fitting your Mancraft SDI K kit into your Ares Striker sniper rifle. Now you'll see here it's a standard bolt here, and you'll see the pull on the, and the draw on the uh, bolt is quite hard, and there's normal pushing it forward as you feel a bit of resistance there because these aren't made all that well. Uh, but for the price that you pay for these strikers, they're absolutely superb value for money. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take this to the next step today, and we're going to turn this into a uh, Mancraft uh, rifle, and all we're going to do is we're going to go through the steps that you need to do when you get your kit in the box, um, and how easy it is to do this. Now when you receive your Mancraft kit, it will be coming in a box like this, and then when you open the box up, You'll have your Minecraft kit, the spring for your Minecraft kit, you've got a patch there as well. Uh, and we'll go through all the steps you need to get this fitted into the rifle. So stay tuned and we'll get the gun on the bench and show you what exactly what you need to do. So we've got the gun on the bench here and then all we need to do first is remove the standard bolt. So what we're going to do is we're going to use something to push the pin out from the opposite side like that and a good technique for these as well if you haven't done it already is actually lock tight in these bars this little pin uh, with your uh, spring there into the main part because these come loose all the time and they'll rotate and um, vibrate loose from the main unit and it causes some problems that you just don't want so that's a good tip there too as well and uh, just pull the bolt straight to the rear um, and there's a little extra piece of metal in here which stops you from pulling the trigger when the bolt's to the rear. These are highly recommended to be taken out uh, with warning, um, and I say that because if you take this part out with a spring, it will allow you to pull the trigger when the bolt is in the rear portion, but without this part fitted, when you go to put the cylinder back together, you literally pull the trigger and you can pop the... Uh, so you'll just straight back in without having to mess around and rotate it like you normally do. So with the bolt system out here, all you're going to do is you're going to set a needle nose pliers or use one of these little cylinder tools if you have one. And we're just going to loose the front part of the cylinder. Like that. And then we're going to take out all the internal pieces. So you've just got your cylinder there. So we don't need the cylinder head either because it comes in the kit. We're then going to take the Minecraft unit and the spring out of the box. And we're going to, you've got two screws on here. So you've got one on the opposite side to where the airline is. And you've got the airline bolt here as well, which we're just going to turn that loose. Um, you can use a socket for this if you haven't got a socket set. Just use a set of wide pliers. You should be very careful not to slip um, as you don't want to damage that. Just rotate this loose. Um, but the main thing that you want to be um, wary of is that one side of this has space for the airline which is where we've just taken that out from and the other side is a blank for the other half of the screw so we're gonna pull that out always keep an eye on which one's the airline which is this side I'm gonna pull the needle out pop the spring onto the needle and pop this back into the assembly here and you've got your seam head. This all comes well greased from Minecraft, but if you do want to take this off and put your own grease on there, that's you know something you might want to do. And then we're going to take the cylinder as if it's going back into the gun. So you've got your three slots. The widest of the slots is going to be on the bottom, if you see her. And your airline's going to be pointing towards where the fitment needs to go here. So we're going to pop that into the gun. is a very snug fit with the spaces that they put on there and then we're going to pop the cylinder head on and literally push down 
and screw the cylinder head. onto the cylinder and then uh, just going to use our little tool here just to make sure that's tight and then what we're going to do with this is we're simply going to pop it back into the rifle which is made easy because that little part has been taken out beforehand so all we need to do is push down on the trigger and it lines up properly it can be a bit fiddly sometimes it's not catching that cinder heads on all the way. If you need to, just pop your finger down the hole just to see everything in place. So this one's not as being as forgiving as the others that we've fitted, so what we're going to do is just pop a small screwdriver into where the sear is and I'm just going to pop the sear down through the ejection port. The others that I've done have been fairly easy and I've just been pulling the trigger to pop the sear down but if you do get stuck either use your hand or just use something like an allen driver or a screwdriver just to push the sear down so you can get the cylinder in and then that just pushes into place like so. So now that part's in we're going to use the little screw that we took out that's going to go in the opposite side. Now, before we put that screw in, you're probably going to notice that you're not going to be able to get it in with it in the stock. So we'll come back to this in just a moment. And what we'll do is we'll fit the airline side first. So what we're going to do is pop it into the side of the rifle and then we're simply just going to turn screw until it's all the way in. Now as well as using uh, like pliers you can use um, a little wrench or spanner. Let's see if I've got the correct size here. So I've got one the correct size so Make sure it's seated, you don't want to cross thread this. You might find this a little bit of a uh, pain to get in at first. just be careful not to cross thread and then we're going to tighten that all the way up to it's tight and then we're going to flip the gun over you'll see this uh, you'll actually have an allen key fitment bolt on your trigger housing but Aries having the great quality control that they do this rifle actually came without it so we're just going to remove that remove the front screw and then we can get access to the right hand side and we've just got our other little uh, screw fitment Flathead screwdriver. Screw that in place. Make sure you don't over tighten these, there's not really much need. Pop the stock back on. Reassemble the rifle. Like I say, the only reason I've had to take the stock off is because of that little screw just I can't get it behind the body use 
our replacement screw thanks to Aries. And your Minecraft kit is installed. So that's all you need to do. Next you'll be thinking on routing your lines. Now the ones, some of them that we have done, we've routed it up like that and fit the regulator on the side of the scope so it sort of fits in and sort of sinks that way. If you want to run the regulator in the stock, you'll have to make a small hole and then just run the airline through into where your regulator is. But compared to the um, original port on the bolt, it is now as simple as that. So thank you very much for watching. We'll be doing a lot more videos on this platform as we, uh, on this kit as we mess around with it and we'll do some shooting tests and uh, range tests as, as you guys love. But it's dead simple as that, you need very basic tools to do it. You still keep all your original components, so if you want to turn it back to spring it's great. Uh, and like I say, it's just these two points here that secure it in. And then this will go to your regulator and then fit your regulator wherever you want it to go. So thanks very much for watching. Tune in next time for more great videos here for, from us here at Bespoke. And as always, if you want to know more, just send me a message, comment on the video down below, um, or, or send an email, or give us a call at the shop, and we'll be happy to help you out with any issues you're having. As always, you can follow us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube for further news and updates, and we'll see you in the next video.